Hey, what up, YouTube? It's your girl, El Nicole. All right, so I guess this is kind of a rant that I'm about to go on. Um, so in addition to hair care, I've also wanted to cover health and wellness on my channel. Well, hasn't been going so well. So um, like I told you guys once before, I am a type 1 diabetic, which means that um, my body no longer produces insulin. And I actually use this. It is a Medtronic insulin pump, and this little line here is attached to my stomach, so it's kind of like an IV, um, so like a catheter or whatever. And so that this houses insulin, and every hour on the hour, it automatically gives me a small amount of insulin, and then when I eat something that has carbohydrates in it, I give myself a dose um, to cover it or what have you, and so... That keeps my blood sugars under control, keeps me alive and well. So, uh, it's type 1 diabetes, so it doesn't matter how much weight I lose, I will always be a diabetic. My pancreas no longer functions. Um, and I get frustrated when I see people who are type 2 and the doctors tell them, oh, if you lose 35 pounds, you know, you you can go off your medication. Oh, if, and they can't seem to do it. And I try to do like an experiment on myself and say, if you lose 15 to 20 pounds or 35 to 50 pounds, you can go off of your insulin medication and live a normal lifestyle, blah, blah, blah. I couldn't commit to it. So I get it. It's harder than that. It's harder than anything trying to do right and lose weight. Um, last week, I ran four miles on Tuesday, Thursday. And Friday on the days that I didn't I either walked two miles home from work and or did one of the firm DVDs um, no weight loss I'm also doing Weight Watchers and I'm constantly within my daily points allowance and I don't even dip into my extra weekly allowance no weight loss seriously could I be doing anything more different, better? I think not. I feel like I truly am confident when I say that I am giving 150% to this whole health and wellness movement and my body is not responding. So I'm actually um, scheduling an appointment with my endocrinologist who monitors my diabetes because I just want to make sure, you know, that everything's okay um, and there's not something else going on that's preventing me from losing weight. Now, I started this a few months ago, and I am down 17 pounds, but here lately, the more I've exercised, it has come to a complete halt. Once I finished grad school, I was like, okay, I've got so much time now I can devote to my weight loss efforts, and it seems like that's the worst thing I could have done because the weight loss is non-existent. And, you know, everyone's like, oh, you're looking smaller. So I know that I'm toning up and tightening things and building muscle. And I know the whole muscle weighs more than fat and blah, blah, blah. I get that. But I need to see the number on this scale move. It's just that simple. As awesome as I feel, I'm looking better each day. I need the number on the scale to move. It's just that simple. I am an American. And that is how we measure weight loss success. And not just Americans, but I'm just saying that is the true measure of whether or not a diet and exercise plan is working. The number on the scale moves and you begin to get slimmer. My arms still have that jiggle, still a little double chin going on here. Like seriously, I just I just don't know how much longer I can take this constant disappointment and doing Weight Watchers. You have to weigh in once a week. And it's just like at what point does my body, you know, respond and re reward me for my efforts? Like, it'd be different if I could say, oh, I'm just half ass working out and, yeah, I'm still eating fried chicken and biscuits and fried okra or whatever. Not the case. Like, I'm giving it all I've got. And I feel like my body is, like, laughing at me like, ha, heifer. You still a heifer, ha. You're just a big old heifer. Ha, ha, ha. You know, color purple. <laughs> um, no, but seriously, though, um, it, what's up? You know, what's going on with that? I, I just don't know how much more patient I could be, how longer I could take it. So anyway, I'm, I'm hanging in there. Um, 
coming up on my 10 year wedding anniversary my husband and I are cruising to the Bahamas in for 34 39 days I believe um clearly I'm not gonna make the goals I bought a size 10 swimsuit I tried to put it on the other day I damn near had to be cut out of it clearly I'm not gonna make the goal I had set for um that reflection of my glasses is driving me crazy looking at myself um but yeah clearly i'm not going to make the size clothing size and weight goals that i had anticipated for um this trip and that's fine you know okay just give me something a pound a week two pounds a week three pounds a week would rock nothing it's just stand still i mean that's great i haven't gained back what i've lost 17 pounds but if I'm being honest, I have at least 50 more pounds to go. So, work with me. Help me help you. Jerry Maguire. Okay, so yeah, I'll probably figure it out by now. This chick watch too much TV. I can't help it. I love movies and TV. Um, but I read as much, if not more, than I watch The Idiot Box. So, I feel like it balances out. I have no guilt. Um, anyway, so that's that. To everybody else on a weight loss journey, um, good luck. Stay in there. Don't give up. I'm um, trying to stay motivated and, and do right. And, uh, yeah, it's it's a it's a long, hard road. I guess if it was easy, everyone would be thin. Um, I'm a fighter. I'm a survivor. So this won't break me. But I actually am feeling a little bit, a little bit disappointed in the situation right now. So we'll see how that turns out, whatever. Um, see what the endocrinologist has to say, if anything else could be a factor. and uh, I'll keep you all updated. I also want to check my A1C, uh, which is the three-month measure of my um, glucose levels and make sure that my blood is holding steady. I still have a hard time checking my blood sugar, even though I have been diagnosed with diabetes for five years now. Something about that finger prick is just not right. It's hard. I don't even do it monthly. So I know I'm not doing it the way that I should be, but, you know. What can you do? Um, and I always joke to myself, of all the things to have similar or the same as Halle Berry, I'd have to get the diabetes, right? I couldn't get her waist or her boobs or her money or her hair. I got the diabetes. Of all the things in the world to have um, in common with Halle Berry. Really? Hmm. Anyway, I digress. All right, so you have a wonderful Wednesday evening. I'll catch up with you guys later. And still loving my natural 85 highly defined twist out. It rocks. Um, day two hair is always better, so I can't wait to see what it looks like tomorrow. Um, and maybe the rest of this that is really, really tightly curled will have stretched out by then. So, all right, catch up with you gators later. El Nicole out.